Hello everyone. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? Hello. <laughs> hello everyone. This is Cindy from CC's. How is everybody doing? It is Wednesday and it's eight o'clock. Hi, Jean. How are you? It's Wednesday, ready to create. Let's get creative. I am Cindy. For those of you that are new, please say hello as you come in. Let me know that you're here. Do hashtag live if you are catching me live or hashtag replay if you come back in on the replay. It's Wednesday. We're already halfway through the week. For those of you that are still working, the rest of us or the rest of everyone else is just still home and we will all be back to work very soon. We're hoping, right? Okay, so let's not just dwell on any of that, okay? We just want it to be, want it to be good. Oh, thank you, Jean. So while we're on that subject, she said she sprinkled. So for those of you that are coming in, if you do this, and sometimes we call it sprinkle. And then you get your name in this bag. If I get 10 shares during my live, then we will stop to do a drawing for a special gift. If not, everybody's name will go into the bag. And at the end of the month, I will do a drawing for a special gift. So you might wanna do that. Get your name in there. Hi, Teresa, how are you? All right, let me get your name in there too. How are you guys doing this fine Wednesday night? Teresa was the winner the last time. Will she win again? We don't know. Will she win again? Names are in there. Okay. So... I am wanting to create a cute little tag and I got my I got a few new transfers in today I'm slowly getting them in I kept thinking well should I get any more since everything's been canceled and I think well I'm just gonna go ahead and stock up on some of my new transfers hi Patty how are you thank you for sharing we will get your name in here too we don't want to say that too many times, or I can't, <clears throat> but you guys know what to do. Now make sure that you sh share it so that I can see that you have put it on your page, because I do go check. So make sure that I see it, make it so that it's public, so that I can see everything. I'm doing good, thanks. Hi, Brianna, how are you? All right, so let's get started here. <clears throat> Again, new setup, I've kind of rearranged my room. I'm still trying to figure out whether I like this or not. I don't know, don't know, not so much. But you're not gonna be looking at me, you're going to be looking more at what's on my desk, right? Right. <laughs> Oh my gosh, it's a beautiful night. It's warm out. I got my window open here. It's just nice. It's just nice as can be. Yes, it was a very nice, pretty day. Even if uh, most of us had to enjoy it from indoors, it was still a nice, nice day. I'm hoping to get myself in gear and come home and go for a walk every evening. Something that would really do me some good. All right, anyways. So for those of you that are new, I think everybody here pretty much knows me so far. I am Cindy from CC's with Chalk Tour. And I am going to show you how I want to decorate a tag that I normally hang from my door, my front door, but 
this time I might just hang this in this room. I don't know. Just trying to decide, but it's going to be cute. So let's get started. We are using, those of you that are new, we are using reusable silk screen transfers. You can use them over and over again. As long as you take care of them, your transfers will last a very long time. All right. So if you have any questions, just leave me a comment below. I'm sure all these other ladies that are in here could possibly help with questions too. So they're all pros at it. <laughs> all right. Let's get you transferred down to me. All right, let's get, let's get this fixed up here. See what I know what I'm doing. Maybe. Here I am. Hello, hello, hello. See, Brianna, there's the hands. Okay. So we're going to get started. So this is my little tag. I have cut these out. My husband cut them out and of course I helped him for some reason. He has issues with cutting out on an angle. I don't know. But anyways, we've cut this out and it's already been waxed and painted, painted and then waxed. So we're good. So now this is what we're gonna use. Beach vibes. Um, I think we could all um, maybe think about being at the beach. Wouldn't that be nice? It would be very, very nice. So I am going to <laughs> jazz hands. <laughs> he's a man. I know he definitely needs the help. <laughs> and he's he's a, he's blonde. So sorry for any of you that are blonde. I'm just kidding. Just kidding. Okay. Anyways, I do tell my husband that all the time. <laughs> Okay, so Beach Vibes is what we are going to be working with. And for those of you that are new, you um, have a little opening here on the back. Just um, be careful because whenever you're at any of my classes, I do like to keep these little packaging that they come in because it has a nice little loop up here at the top. And so I hang them, as you can see right back there behind me, I hang them up. So I like to keep them. Also, what we have, this is brand new. I just got it today. I was gonna do, um, I was going to do a live when I was opening up my box, but it really wasn't that much. I didn't think it would be that great. So I just figured I'd just wait till tonight. But anyways, there are little lines on here. I know these are kind of hard to see. They're kind of getting lighter, but when you're here, you can actually really see it. So there's a little line there. It's kind of a suggested line to cut your little transfer on. And you just want to make sure that you stay in those lines. And if you come to any of my classes, I just ask that you stay on the lines when you have yours at your house and you can cut in a little closer if you want. But I would just really be careful because of the silk screen you don't want it to um, it is like a mesh so you're going to want to make sure that you're careful with it and you don't want it too close All right so also it's like this is the silk screen okay so for those of you that are new if you just roll your fingers along the edge you'll see that this is the little mesh that i'm talking about all right so that is what we are going to be taking care of and making sure that we get any paste out of that and keep it clean so that we can continue to use it over and over again. Um, so what you're gonna want to do, this is the glossy side of this little carrier sheet. You see that where it's a little shiny? Okay, and then on this other side, it's more of a paper matte finish. So I'm just gonna put on here, I'm gonna put beach chair. Okay, that way I know what is the front and what is the back. So that when I wash all of these, I know where they go. Okay. Did anybody do anything exciting today since it's Wednesday? Anything real exciting? Or no, just kind of hung out at home? <laughs> All right, so 
we're going to go ahead and fuzz up the chair. So I think what I want to do is see we're going to do beach vibes. I kind of want to do it at an angle just, just because. Or I could do kind of like that, beach vibes. Do my chair over here. And then I'm going to have the sun kind of setting in the background there. And we're going to do a little ombre look with the sun setting. Kind of want it just, just a little beyond the chair or right by the chair. That is the plan. That is the plan. So let's do the chair first so that I know exactly where I want everything. So just slowly take off the backing. Like I said, these are brand new transfers, so you're gonna want to make sure that you fuzz this up. Fuzz it up. So what's everybody doing? <laughs> How's everybody tonight? Wednesday, Any anything good on TV tonight? You never know what to, what to watch any of your favorite shows okay like what have you been binge watching anything I did that um, that tiger whatever that tiger <clears throat> that one tiger show tiger king or whatever I did that that was definitely different <laughs> definitely different but it was okay. All right, so I have fuzzed that up. I'm going to put my chair <clears throat> on there and I'm trying to decide if I want my chair to be a teal or if I want it to be the tide. I almost think a teal chair would look neat because then I'm gonna have the yellow and the orange peel to kind of go for my sunset. So maybe I'll do that. Let's do that. HGTV and Hallmark. I don't know if I have those channels. Jean, why are you watching Christmas movies, girl? Stop that. No. No Christmas movies. We just got out of the cold weather. What's wrong with you? Not sure I want to see Christmas. All right, so you're going to want to make sure that this has a good, smooth consistency. You are going to want to make sure that you have distilled water. You're only going to add distilled water to make sure that it has a good, smooth finish to it. It's yogurt-like sour cream consistency. All right. Well, let's get started here. We're gonna use a little bit of the teal. You guys see that okay? Let me move some of these up. Let's move this up for you. All right, so we're just gonna need a little bit. We're just going to smooth this across. Just kind of glide your paste right across here. All right. And now we're going to take off any excess. Kind of missed the corner there. All right. Now we're going to pull straight back. So you're either going to want to go up and down or left to right. That is how you are going to want to pull your transfer off. I usually pull mine straight up and back. Oh, the chair looks pretty. Love how that looks. All right, let's try this off so that I don't mess it up. I like the chair. No to Christmas. It's too early, Jean. Unless you're thinking of Christmas in July. We could do that, I guess. 
If it was that, then we'd have to find some different sales and specials that we would need for the Christmas in July, don't you think? Yeah. I'm thinking so. All right. We've got that dry. Now, I want to do my sun. I might have to tape off a little bit of my sun because I want that to kind of sit right behind the chair just a little bit. Right? So let's really fuzz up my little transfer here. Would you like for it to be Christmas all year? No! <laughs> you just like watching movie, Christmas movies all year, Jean? And some people like it. That makes you happy. It is a nice, looks like a nice comfy chair, doesn't it? Oh, you guys, it looks like I froze up over on my laptop. Did I? I hope not. I don't need that to be happening. All right. So we're just going to put the sun there. Now I'm going to kind of going to use a little bit of my washi tape to kind of cover this up. No what, Brianna? Just going to cover this up just a little bit. Want to make sure you don't want to get any of the chair. Not froze. Okay. Must have just been my computer. It came back, but I didn't know if I had froze up. Okay. So I'm going to do this. Now I want to do the daffodil color. Ew, looks like there's a little bit of green in there. Got it out. All right. So I've got daffodil and then I will have my orange peel. So we will have this as where we have this little sunset. Okay, this is a nice consistency, the orange peel. So I kind of want to get this on here, kind of thinking about mixing the colors a little bit. And that would work. <laughs> I had a visitor at my window. <laughs> so, um, yeah, so if we just do the daffodil and the orange peel, that would be good. So I'm going to do a little up here and then the orange and then I'm going to kind of blend. You think that'll look okay? What do you guys think? Gonna look good? It's my idea because of the sun setting. I think it's gonna be good. I know there's a little bit of a delay so let me see what you guys think. Or I could just go for it. See how that would be? Kind of just put a little bit on there and then just kind of blend the colors. I think it'll look good. Okay. Just gonna kind of go for it. It's just paste. And even if I blend the two colors a little bit together, put a little bit of water on my mat and get my finger wet. Maybe I should kind of blend a lot of it, you think? What do you think? That'll look pretty. Yes? Let's hope it'll look good. Okay, now you're gonna slowly pull back. 
I want to put a little bit of paste right here. I'm missing a little bit right there. All right, I'm gonna miss that a little. All right, I kinda need to touch this up a little bit. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can fix this. You think I should have that color in between the, I probably should, shouldn't I? See if I still have that brush in here. I do. Get it in between. Took me forever to grab it. I like how that looks. So what do you think? Should I, let me put, lift that up for you guys to, to take a look at it. Checking my fingers before I touch the board. Should I leave it that way and not put any of the color in between the chair? Jean says yes. You see that? Or do I not? Tell me what you think. I like it though. I like it. Love, love, love how it's coming out. So, should I do that with the the in-between. I'm afraid, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it because I'm afraid if I bring it down too much, I would almost have to make a line right here so that I don't come down very far. Color it. I think I need to have more of like a line, don't you think? To let's go on for now and let's see how I can't even wipe that off because I got some of the other color. Let's see how it looks. Let's think about it for a minute. Okay, let me just put that lid on that and then we'll move on. Got little crumbly things here. Okay, we'll put the little brush off to the side. But it looks pretty! Put transfer on. What transfer? All right, so now I want to put the beach vibes. I want the beach kind of off to the side and do vibes. All right, so I was thinking of doing the beach vibes in this tide. Do you think I could do tide and ocean mist, do an ombre of those, or should I do solid color to make them pop? Oh, I see what you're saying about putting the sun back on. Yeah, I could do that to help me to line it up. All right, so what do you think about the beach vibes? If I do this kind of to the side and this more over, should I do it all in the tide? Hi, Susie, how are you? Should I do it all in the tide? Or to bring out more of that teal, 
I could do it in teal. Do an ombre. All right. So, that's good to hear, Sizzy. I'm glad you're doing good. All right, you guys. Help me out. Ombre of these two. What do you mean it it doesn't need much what looks awkward if I do an ombre what looks awkward <laughs> what looks awkward all right let me fuzz these up while we're thinking of it because I know that that's how I want that on there Right, so we're just going to take these off here and I'm going to make sure that I fuzz them up. And again, you're just rolling your fingers on the edge and slowly pull this off, okay? I'm just gonna fuzz these up because they feel very, very sticky. The newer, these newer transfers are really, really sticky. Sometimes we would get some of the transfers to be really sticky and then there's other times when they barely have any stickiness to them, which they still work. So, I mean, it was still good, but you know, we just want them to last as long as possible, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. So I'm I doing the ombre on the beach vibes or are we doing it all in a solid color? Jean says ombre. I think Patty had said ombre. All right. But do you think this, yeah, that color will show up on it? Just where the sun should be showing at the open part of the top of the chair. You just think it should be showing through there? But what if the chair would be teal and white? How do you know that it's not teal and white? <laughs> Susie's for ombre too, okay. <laughs> I'm just saying, <laughs> just saying, it could be teal, white, teal, white, teal, white. <laughs> I know what you're saying, Teresa. <laughs> we will do it. We will do it. All right. So here we've got beach. I like it at an angle. And then, all right, I won't put that on there because I'm gonna want that to come up a little ways. All right, so let's do this one. We're going to do the beach. <laughs> Good point of what, of it being too, it could be teal and white. <laughs> I was just messing with Teresa. <laughs> Just messing with her. All right. So we've got the ocean mist and the tide. Just give it a good stir. Remember, you guys, that just came in. Make sure that you share the video. 
and your name will go into the drawing. If I get 10 shares during my video, then we'll stop and do a drawing for everyone that's in here. But anyone that's still left in here by the end of the month, I will do a drawing for one winner the last day of the month that I do my lives, which I do my lives on Monday, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So if you want to be in this drawing, you know what you need to do. All right, so here we go. We are going to do the ombre. You sent it four times tonight, Susie? Where did you send it, girl? Send it in different groups, did you? Yeah, you guys, if you have different groups, let me know. Thank you, Susie. We will get your name in there four different times. But yeah, if you share this in your other, you know, maybe you guys are with different crafting groups or um, just let me know and I will be able to see on the live too how many are there. Thank you so much, Susie. I appreciate that. So I will see how many times that it does get, don't want to say that too much, but you know what I'm saying, sprinkle it, whatever, share the love. <laughs> So we're ready to do our ombre. And she is going in the bed. Okay, here we go. We are doing the ocean mist at the top. Okay, top of my letters. Right? Now we're doing the tide. It's so nice sitting here at the window with the window open. All right, so we're just going to wet the mat a little bit, get my fingers wet, not too wet, and then we're just going to go in circular motion and blend away, blend, 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 okay? This is how we get the ombre look. Everybody likes the ombre. Always have a towel, cloth, something next to you to help you get the colors off, All right? So we're just going to pull up and back Look how pretty that looks. Beautiful beach colors. Beautiful. Oh, you can hear the birds? Yeah, we've got little trees right here. You can hear my little birdies. All right, so now we are ready. Oh, they're singing to us now. <laughs> Let's dry that before I mess it up. <laughs> you don't want to forget to dry it. Don't want to mess it up. So yes, as long as you guys let me know that you have sprinkled that away and into different groups that maybe you're in, let me know. Love how that looks. I really thought that maybe the ocean mist color was going to be too light on here. But is that not more of a, a, a beachy look? Beachy. <laughs> Almost sounds like I said something else, but I said beachy. <laughs> I know. I love having the windows open. Love, love, love it. Felt a little warm, but it's... 
It's coming back to room temp. All right. So we're gonna do the same thing with this. Going to do the ombre look on this also. So here we go. Just kind of glide it across the top. Just make sure that you stay within your little transfer here because we're working with white. All right. Looks good, we're close, but we're, we'll be all right. I still have my mat wet a little bit up here. Let's wet that a little bit more, right? So we've got it wet, right? So let's blend away circular motions and blending. Blending, blending, make it look pretty. All right, wipe off your hands. Okay, now we've got this showing over here, so I'm going to use this and pull up and back. It always comes off easier if you pull straight up and back. All right, slowly. I don't want to pull any paint off of there. <gasps> Look how pretty. You guys, I love how it came out. Love, love, love. Here's my beach vibes. Love how it came out. I should have got like some shells or something. I could always hang some little shells or something from there, right? You think that would look good? And then I know I'm gonna have like twine or something, but I don't know if I really want to put a bow up there. What do you think? No bow. All right, so we're just going to clean this off. I do have a shell over here, but I didn't know. You know, like to set it off to the side, but I think it's big. It's another one of my new transfers. Kind of going to go with the beach theme here the rest of the week, I think. All right, so how does that look? What do you think? It looks cute. Would that not look cute? I mean, it doesn't have to be hanging on a door, but I just thought maybe somewhere in here. Yeah, something to look like sand on the bottom. I could, I could actually grab some paste and I've got like fawn and that would look like sand. I could just kind of blend it on the bottom there. What do you think? Should I try that? I can always do that. So here's some, um, I have these and I thought even if, I don't know, if I put the sand starfish or whatever off to the side, I know it's kind of big though, right? I think it's too, too big. Too much. Or should I just try some paste on the bottom of there to make it look like a beach? I have the fawn and that would really, we can make it look kind of beachy <laughs> yeah okay it's too big that one's out all right so you think I should try some fawn and I can just rub it on and make it mainly down here or kind of go up a little bit <clears throat> and make it look like sand want me to try it let me go grab let me go grab it.
I have returned. Okay, so here is my fawn. Okay, so what you can do is you can take, take your wipe, take one of the wipes. You're going to take some of your paste Right, you're just going to stir this up. Okay, so now what you're going to do is I did have a tray. Here we go. Got a little tray here. We can always take a little bit of this paste, put it onto one of our little trays. Right, so. What we're going to do is we'll take this wipe, we're going to take a little bit of it, we're just going to glide it across here lightly. You know, we can always make it look a little darker in spots. It's paste, so it's just it's just going to dry. And you can always put it darker in different areas. What do you think? Is it hard to see? Kind of hard to see. Kind of hard for you guys to see it. But it, it is showing up. It looks pretty. You see how that looks? Can you guys see how it looks? Just kind of smoothed it around. Made it look very beach themed. <laughs> I'm happy with it. Yay. Love, love, love. Okay. So are we leaving it like this? Think everything looks okay? I think it looks gorgeous. All right, so let's get you back to me and see what you guys think. All right, here we go. So we think. Doesn't it look pretty? Can you guys see the little beachy area? It looks pretty. All right, so that is what I have for you guys tonight. So you know I could just put a little bit of um, a twine up here and hang that, and I could hang it here in this room. Or if you would like me to make something like this for you, I'm always open to do that too. So I want to show you some new stuff we got going on. Here are some new kits that we have. We just launched it today. They are called Try Me Kits. You guys are going to love these. Here, let me take off. Let's see. All right, let me move my name off of there. Look at that kit. That's a try me kit. Bold, brave, brilliant. You're going to get all of that for 1916. Yes, the sand came out cool. Thanks, Teresa. Thanks, Patty. 
Thanks, Susie. Thanks, Jean. All right, so here are the new kits we have, you guys, just launched today. All right, so here is the next kit. You will get everything that you see there. You're going to get your palette board, the No Bad Days. That looks like Grige and uh, might be Tide. I can't see real clear. And that's for $20.76, plus tax and shipping, of course. Now, if you are a club member, you will get uh, $4.95 shipping. If not, it's going to be $6.95. So here is the next kit. This one is Don't Stole, Stumble Over Something Behind You. I love that saying. And that is for $20.76. You get everything that you see there. And also, here is the last kit, Love Brings Us Home. Now, I created that on a couple different um, lives ago, so if you would like to see how that would look, you could check that out. But you guys, this is big. This is huge. These are some new, some new kits for everyone. So go check those out off of my Facebook, or not my Facebook page, but off my website. You will be able to find them there. And which is right here, right there is my website. So you'll be able to check those out. And remember, if you are a Club Couture member, you will get a discount on your shipping and it will only be $4.95. That is the deal, you guys. We pay a lot more for our shipping. But that is something new and always remember of course we've got our club couture which is this transfer i love this transfer i think this would be neat even on a shirt i might try it on a shirt next so very very cute and that's another project how they have finished it i kind of did that kind of on my board too so if you watch that live it's just a gorgeous gorgeous little transfer also, club members will get all of these banners. I'm going to do a little demo of that too. All the banners for club members only are 50% off. What a deal, you guys. I don't even get 50% off. So that is what you will get as a special for being a club member. It always, always pays to be the club member. Here's some different... Let me take off my name there so you guys can see that. Those are the different banners that they have at 50% off. Have any questions? Leave me a comment down below. <laughs> Susie, whoop, whoop. <laughs> yeah, you heard it here. So by being a club member, you will get a exclusive, like that typewriter uh, transfer that you saw that is our... Um, April Club Couture for the month. Um, that is the transfer that you receive along with three paste singles. Now remember, these transfers are exclusive. You will not find them on the website anywhere because they are exclusive just to club members only or designers. That is the only way that you can get a hold of that transfer. It is only $19.99 a month and everything gets shipped directly to you. So you don't have to worry about um, someone ordering it in for you and then getting it to you. It gets shipped directly to you. You get inspired every month to create. And if you would like, you can add on the Kickstart kit that is just an option. You don't have to do that, but it also gives you different surfaces. Again, our transfers can be used on any surface, but that is the Aiden board, the board and base, and the board erasers, white paste, squeegee, and the multi-tool everything you will love and you can create over and over and over again so also you have the option of getting your own business in a box you will get everything you see here for only 99 dollars. you guys that is a great deal and we have such a special going on there if you see where it says bonus you're getting added just for the month of april the tags and the tag transfers so that is an addition to everything. So you're going to get over $270 worth of product. Plus then you're going to be receiving your discount all the time. If you have any questions about that, just leave me a comment below and I can even get you into 
an opportunities group where you can take a look at everything. If you have any questions, you can always feel free to give me a little uh, message down below, private message me, and I will try to get you on the, any of your answers for you. If I don't know it, I will make sure that I find someone that can answer your questions for you. That is what I have for you guys tonight. Thanks for stopping in. Remember, I will be back again on Saturday. I want to start doing some different things in my VIP group. So if you would like to be included in on that information on the VIP groups, I'm going to start creating bundles just for them. Comment VIP down below and I'll make below and I'll make sure that I get you in that group. Also, if you want to do what I was doing tonight, comment join and I'll get you into that group that, like I was telling you about. Or if you would be interested in having a class, I can either bring tags, I can bring just about any kind of surface um, to your class and that way we can share with all your family and friends when we're all able to get together again. Or if you do those Try Me kits, we could do a virtual class where we can get on Zoom and we can see each other. Would that not be cool? Somebody needs to do that for me. I've not done that before, but I think it sounds like a lot of fun where everybody gets a kit or whatever and then um, we all do it together. We're all at home, we've got the time, right? <laughs> so let me know if anyone would have interest in doing that. I would love to be able to do that. That's all I have for you guys tonight. Thanks for stopping in. Make sure that you share the video. I would appreciate it. That is the greatest compliment that you could give me. Give me a thumbs up or a heart and I will see you again on Saturday. Have a great evening, everyone, and remember, get creative.